Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. In the last episode we went to the sewer and we also went to the skull caverns to get a little bit of just overall all mining stuff. It's going to rain tomorrow. Okay, it's been a hot minute. Gotta say. Spirits are very displeased today. You know what? That's okay because remember we do have the cave patrol thing where we have to kill 50 grubs and the more grub spawning is a good thing for us. Is that a full set of crabs? Oh no, it almost looked like it from where I was looking at it. Uh, so today's the 23rd. Ooh, is today George's birthday or was it? Oh, I'm very impressed. Enjoy your reward. You did it. Wow. Well, there's our 10,000 for hitting floor 25 in the Skull Cavern. Found this in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> you could use it. Beer! In a drawer? Okay. Hey, uh, our diamond machine came out. So you get a diamond. Look at that. Crazy. I'm um, going to slap it right back on in. Oh, no, it keeps going. That's right. I was like thinking like, wait, isn't it supposed to give me two? No, it just keeps going until you break the machine apart. Also, is that a fully grown pig I see? I think that's a fully grown pig, and I really hope it decides to come out today because I would like its crop or its product, which will actually be uh, really good for us because we do need it to please open the path. Thank you. Okay. I closed it on it. Well, the pig will come out eventually. So for pigs to actually make something, they do have to come outside, which is why that is why you don't get anything from them in winter because they can't come outside. Animals don't come outside in winter. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before. You have to keep them in the barns. So they don't get the extra friendship and happiness bonus from eating, grazing on wild stuff. So it's a little bit difficult for animals and for pigs specifically, they are just about completely useless. Lucky for us, not what's not useless is all of these cranberries and our ancient fruit seed is almost fully grown and that's really exciting. Get all the eggplants too. That's really nice. I think perhaps we have a crow problem over here. Also, I know for a fact that I did pluck some plants that uh, didn't end up growing back. I think there's something that I can plant in those spots. I don't recall though. Weren't we level uh, eight farming before? Maybe. I don't think we were nine. I think we just hit it right now. I don't recall what crafting recipes that gets for us, but hey, didn't expect farming to catch up with everything else, if I'm honest. I believe that is it. Not too much. Ah, oh, it's a shame. You hate to see it. Uh, no, we are definitely thriving. Also, two more mushrooms so we can make some more fall seeds, I think. I don't think anything else is prohibiting us from making those at the moment. So... For today, I first of all need to check and make sure if it's George's birthday or not, because I've apparently forgotten. I'm, hmm. We have all this money now. We're waiting for Robin to build this. I think I'm going to start upgrading a, oh, my inventory's full. I think I'm gonna start upgrading a few more tools because I would like to, let me just, Real quick here, uh, cheese can go in there. That'll probably take, yeah, that'll take up a few things. Sweet. Um, hey, there it is. All right, well, I know that I said we weren't going to, also I get two of them. I got two of them because of the foraging thing. Oh, I forgot about that. And they're gold star, oh God. So truffle is really, really good. So I guess we're going to start working on, uh, I'll show you the process of monetizing your truffles because you don't want to sell them outright. I was like, why is it not going in? That's a, not an egg. There we go. Our inventory is a little bit complicated because a lot of things came up today. So, all right. I think I'm actually going to sell a lot of these in person because Having that money today would be nice. I hate that I can't think of like what I'm supposed to be spending my money on at this point. I didn't, I usually take like a little bit before each recording to like prepare everything. Nortert, I forgot about that. 
And I kind of skipped out a little bit on that because I wanted to get into it, as you can uh, tell. So, crafting. We have the oil maker, so I'm going to go ahead and make... Uh, I should probably make two of those now that I think about it since we have the possibility of digging up two at a time. But I'm not going to because I think we'll be fine without it. What was it? Hardwood now? Where's my hardwood? There's my hardwood. And then what was the last thing? Slime. Oh, God. Yeah, luckily I still have slime from making the uh, wild bait because I did make a lot of that. Oil maker. I guess I'll place this like right. Uh, I don't want to block the far or the barn at all, so I'm gonna place it here. Place the truffle in, and that'll get going. And in a little bit, we will have truffle oil. I do, however, need to keep a truffle for one of our bundles. I forget which one it was. It's not even the animal bundle, oddly enough. It's something on the bulletin board. Chef's bundle, and I could also have a maki roll. You know what? I should make that. I should buy some rice today. I think I've said I was going to do that a few times, but I never did. So that's something to do. A, we can go and... Why did that... Okay, it did go in. I'm just gonna sell the beer, to be honest. We can go... and I, I'm gonna organize my inventory. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed by all this. Hold on. All right, this is the inventory I want to go out with. And I'm also actually going to grab all of these geodes that we have so that while we're at Clint's, we can pop those out. Also going to get, actually, this iridium ore going because those take a really long time to actually smelt out due to the fact that they are. It looks like I'm holding it on a plate when I hold items above me. That's kind of funny. Uh, iridium ore takes a lot longer to grow as you can expect because every every tier of item that goes into smelting takes a little bit longer than the previous gold is at the point where it takes like i think a few hours to grow or the to smelt and iridium takes even longer than that and i don't know the exact amount something smells earthy all right you work on a farm okay cool <laughs> sure thanks Base of crab species is in the local mine. Well, hmm, okay. Since I'm gonna go in anyway, hopefully I'll be able to take care of that. And again, the bad luck is actually going to help us more than hurt us. So we take those. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah. A little bit of money. 25,000 back already. You love to see it. Uh, keeping everything else, of course, for bundles. Wait, did I sell something that I needed for a bundle? Oh no, it's my fish. I was like, where's my fish? I didn't sell it. You can't sell it there. Let's go take care of the bundles first. And I know I'm literally going to walk right back in here when my pumpkin grows because I want to put it in as soon as possible so that I don't uh, miss out on that because that'll be something that we definitely want in as soon as possible. But this is the last of the fish bundles. So with that done, we get... Five Dish of the Sea, which actually increases your fishing by three levels, almost as high as it can get. And that's another bundle set complete. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. And that'll get us our third Escuecobades, is what he said. Our third little star. And again, you don't get to hear the song very often, so I'm just going to chill for a bit. I don't think we're too pressed on time today. Is this going to be the very top one? Oh, no, it's the bottom. Okay. And for the bulletin board, we do have the... I didn't buy rice again. That for the chef's bundle. What else did we have? Was that it? The apples, that's right, for the fodder bundle which is the last one I'll go over, and I'll complete that. The first one of these bundles completed. Wow, that feels good to get that out of the way. And that's a heater. Very important, actually. We'll need two of these for when winter comes. And that leaves us with that. We need a deluxe coop for. That's for winter. Ugh. We're on our way to getting the duck feather. The red cabbage evades me still. And then that's just the maki roll. It's actually starting to look kind of completable. And that's something to celebrate, I think. 
Because a lot of the time when you uh, start working on these bundles and you see all of these late game items that very, very rarely come... Okay. I was just going to talk to him, but since he went into his house, it's obvious he doesn't want to communicate. Um, you see all these late game items all the time, and it gets a little bit overwhelming being like, oh, got to leave that for later. Oh, got to leave that one for later too, and that one, and that one. And it piles up. Especially if you have, like, remix bundles. I am so sorry if you like playing with remix bundles. I could never. I could never. All right, pop them open. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be finished soon, hopefully. And it all is going to depend on that red cabbage. I still find it weird to this day that red cabbage is the one thing that's specifically only available in your first year through sheer luck. I mean, I guess technically most things are sheer luck. Like, you could, in theory, go fishing for hours and hours and never find the right fish, but not too common. I did bring five gold bars because I wanted to... Yeah, I'll probably just make the gold axe, huh? You can see the Iridium Peck axe takes 25,000. A little bit silly. And we don't have anything for anything else. Uh, yeah. Ho or the axe? The hoe is actually going to be fairly useful sometime soon, so that would be interesting to choose. I, hmm. Let's do, see, the axe at this point, it's like I feel like we don't really have a reason to upgrade it too much because it's all just for wood. I guess it'd be useful for clearing out the, yeah, we'll do that first. It'll be useful for clearing off the farm from all those trees that continuously grow because I have so many saplings all over the place. And I'm going to want to deal with that once it does come to winter. One item, beautiful, that can go in the extra gems. We do have quite a few books that I've found throughout the last few days. Technology report, the blueprints for an advanced piece of machinery called a crystallarium have recently been published. This machine can grow crystals from almost nothing, providing their owners with endless supplies of valuable gems. Here's how it works. Place a gem of your choice inside the crystallarium. Now be patient. It can take up to several days, but eventually the crystallarium will grow a copy of whatever you placed inside. You'll know it's ready when it stops wiggling. Once you remove the gem, the crystallarium will start working on another clone. You'll never need to restock it unless you want to change the kind of gem it produces. Unfortunately, the crystallarium doesn't work with the extremely random gemstone known as prismatic shard. For some reason, the MF from the shard interacts negatively with the crystallarium. That's a reason you can't use that item that we haven't seen before. Secrets of the Legendary Fish. The fishermen speak of five rare and unique fish that can only be caught by skilled anglers. Once caught, they will never appear again. The crimson fish lives in the warm waters of the summer. It's been sighted on the far eastern side of the beach. The glacier fish, coming up soon, which only appears in winter, can be caught off the southern tip of the Arrowhead Head Island in Cindersap Forest near where the river meets the ocean. And we've walked by there quite a few times. The anglerfish has been spotted, but in fall, north of the town where the river flows down for the mountains. Already got that. There's a rumor of a strange twisted fish, this fish that lives in the sewer. Funny, because we just caught that. The final fish of a species never before caught is simply known as legend. It is rumored that he lives in the, he? Only he lives in a log submerged in the mountain lake and only ventures out on rainy spring days to nibble at frogs' eggs. Only the most skilled fishermen can hope to catch this one. That is the only fish in the game that requires level 10 fishing level, fun fact. Train at fishing and be per persistent, and eventually you will catch these elusive fish. Make sure to respect the water and don't remove too many fish from the ecosystem. Haha! <laughs> Saw something weird in the tunnel leading out from Pelican Town. There's a little door hidden in the dark. Couldn't get it open, though. Hmm, interesting. What do we have here? The Fisherman Act 2. Uh, this doesn't seem like it's going to be interesting. Oh, it's talking about the legends some more. Dramatic music. Yeah, cool. Lots of books. Lots of things to read and say and hear. Just hints towards all the various Easter eggs and secrets that the game has to offer. I sneezed and my headphones hit my mic and I really, really, really hope that I forget, don't forget to take that off. Anyway, at this point, point, we do need to go into the mines because we need to get, we need to kill 50 grubs and on top of that, kill some rock crabs. 
it's not going to be that easy, but I will take some of the stuff that you can only get in like the regular mines. Also with the gold pickaxe, you can go to absolute town on these rocks, which you do love to see. Ooh, not a lot here. I don't know if I should show all of this because it's, you know, yeah, there's the grubs that we're looking for. Rock crabs are a little bit harder. I think we only need to kill three of them, but they're still not super common. And usually they come in like waves. So like if you find a rock crab, it's very likely that you're going to find another. Ugh, yeah, we're gonna have to get lucky with this one. Gotta say. Oh, maybe we don't. Yeah, grubs, at least when they do spawn, they are in bulk. So you can at least be happy for that. There's a Dougie. Yeah, a lot of enemies that you don't find at all in the Skull Cavern, by the way. This is our first time coming back to the regular mines. So you can see that it is a little bit different. Uh, there's no flying bugs. In fact, the only bug that spawns in the Skull Cavern is the armored bug, which we have no way of destroying at this point. So kind of uh, pointless. So there's no way to get... There's no way to get bug meat, which as we now know is important for a bunch of different things. As long as you didn't sell them all or <sighs> overzealously turn them all into bait like I did, then you should have enough for what? Oh, hello. And that's another thing about the rock crabs. Who knows if you're going to find it. Am I out of... Okay, it was bouncing around like I was out of inventory space. That was weird. Okay, bugs don't die in one hit. Uh, unfortunately, they don't count for the grubs. Although I don't think it's gonna matter. God, and we got another rice shoot. Love to see it. Lordy, we automatically got that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get as much, nothing else here, copper at, while we're here as I can. Cause like I said, there's going to be a specific thing that we can craft, I believe on our next level of, of combat, that'll be useful for that. And obviously just like having copper, good thing. If you need to turn it into iron, you can do that. So many options available to you. Bad luck and you come to floors with absolutely zero enemies. You love to see it. Uh, what's our count looking at? Got cave patrol, we've gotten 21 grubs, which is a lot more than I thought. Oh, it's lava crabs. Oh, well, yeah. That's a completely separate area then. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother doing that for just 540 gold. All right, 11.30, we're gonna call it there. I was really hoping, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm so close, I haven't checked it. Yeah, I was really hoping we could have done that all in one day because that would save us a whole trip, but yeah, whatever. Slingshot's literally completely, well, actually, you know what's not useless? The 24 stone that's in it. So that could go back, but I'll keep the stone. Cool. Uh, let me judge. So I left at 10, 1130, just to judge how much time I have here. And you can see Pam goes home after a while. I think it's at like 9 p.m. she'll go home or something like that. Maybe 6 p.m. because it doesn't have to be like, you know, that close. Who's going to go at 9 p.m.? Cue the... What do I even want to sell out of this? I don't know. Hold on. It's going to be a lot of uh, organizing. Um, look, that, that even things out. Okay, I think for the rest of these, I'm just going to... I'm going to keep the dwarf scroll, actually. Sell most of the rest of these. Uh, with the common mushrooms, hazelnuts. What was the other one? I think we might be missing whatever we have, whatever else we need. No, it was plums. That's right. We can make two more. Wild seeds. Yeah, it's literally only the mushrooms that were stopping us from doing that. Uh, keep the rice shoots. Also, I have plenty of time. I should leave the, the mines way later. Save the rice shoots for spring, I suppose. Ooh, the truffle oil's ready. Get all these. I know I have an hour, but still. Uh, do I have anything else to put in there right now? Guess it could be... Could be an apple. 
apples are fairly worth something, so slap that in real quick. And you'll get to see how much truffle oil's worth. Doesn't eat or er, heal too much, and it's also used for cooking. But, well, you'll see. It's worth quite a bit. Don't need the sandstone at all. Got three cherry bombs just from going through. And the heater, actually, I'll keep in my inventory so I can use that tomorrow. Uh, door scroll will go in here along with other things that I can gift. So, there you go. One day down. Let's see what tomorrow has for us. Also, it was not George's birthday. I didn't forget that. Oh, that's right. I forgot we completed a bundle. Look at that. I mean, you can hardly tell what's going on, but we'll see. Oh, Lord. So much. Tiger's Eye is 275. Wow. Not bad at all. Hey, if anyone ever tells you that the crab pots aren't worth it, look at that. Just for casual grabbing things. I mean, the mussels we got from the beach, but still. Ignoring that. Hello, first rainy day in a while. It's weird that it doesn't really matter to me anymore. Number one source for weather and news. Cloudy with gusts of wind tomorrow. Makes sense. Since the new viewer has joined us, the spirits are in good humor. Okay. Well, I will go back to the mines just to finish that off. Omelets, if you missed that, which is probably a very, I think a very early game ingredient. Our juices are ready. What are they, artichoke juice? That ought to be worth a pretty penny. Got another fairy rose, honey. Thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. In addition to doubling the capacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, simply place an egg inside. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. So yeah, now we can literally just slap an egg into an incubator, any egg, doesn't really matter what, and it will eventually grow a new chicken. Crazy, crazy convenient. I should say that once we did get the big barn, we did then get the ability to... Wow, I didn't think about it. Literally the first day after getting our pig big enough, uh, it is not going to be able to make truffles on rainy days. You hate to see it. Uh, I will place... What was, wasn't I going to... Yeah, place the heater in here. And that will be useful in winter. And we won't have to... Just set it and forget it, basically. Uh, if you don't have a heater in winter, then... It's nice to see this a little bit bigger as well. Uh, if you don't have a heater ready in winter, then your animals will slowly start losing happiness. Are there only three eggs in here? Oh no, I got four. I, I suppose just to show it off, just slap it in there and it'll take a while, but it'll come back out. Let's set some more hay just so we absolutely make sure it isn't going to go bad or the, the, the chickens don't get angry at us. Uh, I guess on that note, we should try and go and get something else. I didn't refill some of these. I saw I had a little bit too much bait. Um, we should go and get something else Start started working on. I, I don't... The grammar is very difficult for that sentence. Uh, have something else started from Robin so that we can get... Uh, just get usefulness out of her. Don't forget her put this over here who cares oh let's see need to go back to the cave so that we can get that grub thing finished with and I guess maybe if we have absolutely so much time on our hands take care of some crabs that sounds right I don't need to bring anything with me right I don't think so but yeah with the big coop I mean we could just have the deluxe coop started I think also hey a quest Grapes are ready. Also, we didn't get a farming level. We've already been level 9? Guess I missed that. Wait, that means that we have... I did miss that. Yeah, Iridium Sprinklers. 24 adjacent tiles. Uh, so think about your normal sprinkler. Um, one extra square in every single direction. It's so good. It's crazy good. So I guess I'll give one... Uh, you know what? Today can be a gift-giving day. What do you want? Bring three Omni Geodes. That's super, super funny that I just destroyed all the Omni Geodes I have. 
that's fine. Now that we have the Skull Cavern open, they're super common, so we won't have to worry about that too much. Um, yeah, gift giving day, why not? Seems to make sense to me. Uh, Emerald Fur, what's her name? Sebastian Frozen Tear. I mean, we can just kind of give grapes out to all the other people, because most people like fruit. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what? It's Georgia's birthday today. Cannot forget. I will not forget. It was not yesterday. I didn't miss it. Do we have any? A any? No. I got rid of them all. So, George only has two loved items. One of them is a cooked item. The other one's a leak. Uh, I guess that means I'm just going to end up giving him... Gold Star Eggplant. Works for me. And you know what? While we're at it out here, get some hot peppers for the boy. Well, I don't need one for Shane, but a hot pepper for the boy. Uh, I'm going to go to Marnie's. Going to go shopping a little bit. And I will... Actually, I can get some more hay because I know that that's not full anymore because they've been eaten. It would appear to be... Just about full. No, I just randomly got it a little slower. That should be good. We need to see what the panning is all, or the, ooh, the glittering boulders is all about as well. I'm sure someone will let us know when we go into town. Uh, Wednesday, the shop is closed. Hopefully that doesn't mean Marnie's closed as well. I doubt it. Oh yeah, for sure. So, now we have ducks. Uh, we also have sheep and goat. Huh. Guess I could go for one of those, but... Ducks going to complete everything you need. Ducks and goats are, or sheeps and goats are completely optional. Brockito? Brockito? Zune, Bree. Nah, hold on. I like that too much. Too good. Yeah, it's going to be named Brockito. Uh, here, have a grape. Enjoy. Already given her two gifts. I know it jazz in her room. Probably not even good enough friends with her. Oh no, I am. Grape. Nope. Jazz absolutely despises grapes. Good to know. I mean, we don't really have too high of a friendship with her already, so that's not going to be too much of a pain. Two more mushrooms. I seem to be a pr pretty consistent... Where are you going? Where are you headed to? Hold on. Do you hear? Seems like the Old Town bus started working again overnight. That old thing has been dormant for decades. This is truly a great mystery. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't talked to you for a while since you're mentioning something that happened several days ago. Yeah, sometimes they'll comment on various things that happen around the valley, so. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Rob. I was just about to have a snack. Here, let me get something for you. Is this a, a scene for Sam or is it for Jody? Oh, okay. Oh no, what a mess. What was that sound? <gasps> this is absolutely terrible. It's it's an egg! <laughs> Tell her. Uh. See, we saw what happened last time I lied. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the proper answer here is. Because I don't look them up beforehand. I need. I like to live in the moment with the emotion. Oh. Uh, he, he dropped it on purpose. He thought... Be, I, I'll say I dropped it. I lie every time. Yeah, that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Rob. It's not such a big deal. <laughs> yeah, the truth. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. Thanks, honey. See, you kind of get everyone's individual vibes. You know? With, like, how it absolutely did not work out for Maru when we lied, but it did for Sam. Sorry about what happened earlier. Yeah, that's fine. Wish I could spend more time outside, but there's so much work to do. Uh, would y'all like grape? Grape? People like grapes! It's a crop. Most people like them, and they're so common. 
and so cheap that there's no reason not to give it to everyone you see so or winners uh i need to make sure that i don't miss out on george for gifts because sashimi okay <laughs> sure funny enough sebastian does love sashimi oh hello it's been a while since i've come in here okay george i want you to take a deep breath for me Mm-hmm. Turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to stay get some moderate exercise with your arms. Hmm. I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live your, my life? Ugh. I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help help people stay healthy. Oh, sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young man. Very well. Rob, what do you think George should do? Uh, oh boy. I mean, come, I mean... I feel like George isn't going to enjoy this. I think, actually, I think this is a Harvey cutscene now I think about it. Follow the advice. Thanks, Rob. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, Doctor. Thanks for your help, Rob. I appreciate it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta kind of sleuth out whose cutscene it is, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, maybe, uh, different thing. Hey, hey, at least he likes it. Didn't get too many hearts out of it, of course. Not good weather for sports. When I woke up, I heard the dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Yeah. Um, you like grapes? You like grapes? People like grapes. I don't think it's... Oh, God. That's a good boy, Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. What? Rob, did you overhear me talking? Uh, I heard everything. I don't really like to talk about it. But I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He... Well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless. That I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that my mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Rob. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Now let me show you what Dusty will do for barbecued steak. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he's going nuts. Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Going crazy for it. Man, I kind of wish Dusty would walk around on his own. Like, I don't know, just be around, you know? I don't know. A little bit of variety. I bet there's a mod for that. Uh, now where would Penny be? I see. I noticed that Penny and Pam don't spend too much time in their house, which, uh, fair enough, I guess. Not to put too uh, fine of a point on it, but I'd imagine Penny might be over here. Yeah, look at that. Good guess. Go ahead and start working on her. There's actually a few of her scenes that I really want to show. Not necessarily because I particularly like them, but because they have some fun little points about them that I'd just like to point out. But, uh, Penny. 
Penny is penny, that's for sure. I guess I can save this frozen tear. I'm not gonna eat the sashimi for health. It's only 33, and there's some fish that just outright give you more health than that. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll go up, hit up Sebastian, and then I'll move on straight over. Now, one thing that I would do... Hold on. Bring Carolina Pumpkin, and the other one is a melon. Yeah. One thing I would do is I want and still need to go to uh, Abigail. Are y'all kidding with the cutscenes? It's only noon. Hi, Rob. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. Oh god, you are exactly the kind of person that would say that. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Got a copper pan. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you'll find. You received a copper pan. Yeah, as I, as far as I know, I believe these can also show up on our farm too, since we do have specifically the beach farm or the river farm, I imagine would also work, but whatever. Hey, Rob. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's way better with three players anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Hmm, looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. Cool. Rob, are you ready to choose your character? Oh boy. I mean, I in real life, I do prefer healers, so I think I'll go for that. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Cool. Warrior's my favorite anyway. Let's begin. We just played D&D. &D. Oh! It, there's an actual scene for it. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian Staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps power, the power of the stolen Solarian staff for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Uh, I mean... Search for a back entrance. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trapdoor hidden in the brush. Beneath is a ladder, which your party descends. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. Green light. Green light. Green light. You're in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in a strange glowing capsule. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? Destroy. After putting those poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. Oh, we killed them? Oh, okay. Christ. You've come to a door at the end of the hallway. The time has come to face De Dreadlord Zarth. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Solarian staff. Heh, fools. 
He'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth casts Shadow Beam. Ouch. You were able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured. If only I was a heal- oh, I bet that- I wonder- so this is different depending on who you choose. Uh, I mean... Wizard could probably- oh man! What- hold on, what if this makes me gain friendship with one of them and lose it with the other? That'd be funny. Probably does. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Sebastian casts Pure Bolt. A beam, beam of white light hits Zarth square in the face. The Dreadlord shrieks and crumbles into dust. You pick up the Solarian Staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. And that's D&D. &D. B rating? Excuse me? Hey, not bad. Took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video, apparently. Christ, I keep getting in these cutscenes. I mean, I guess it's a good sign that I'm getting, like, a good amount of friendship with everyone. And I guess it's also a bad sign that I haven't been going into people's rooms as much as I should be, you know? I have an extra metal laying around. I could also use it for more of my projects. Oh, there's a hint for some of her liked items. I believe she likes a lot of the bars. Um... Clint obviously loves Iridium Bars, by the way. Uh, cool. I guess on that note, I'm just gonna go to the mines and try to slay nine more cave insects. Not insects, but uh, the grubs. So I'll see you in a second. Oh yeah, speaking of panning, we did have that cutscene, didn't we? Yeah, the panning spots aren't too common, but I tend to keep my pan with me just in case. Because you can get some good stuff. Especially now in the 1.5 update, there's a particular item that I'm going to be keeping an eye out for, so just so you know. Oh, looks like that did it. And we got rubber boots. 6,000 gold. Absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, we have the three lava crabs. I don't think I'm going to spend time on that because, I mean, I just don't want to. Oddly enough, we got two different kinds of, like, clothing from that. Also, I just remembered I should go to Robin's to get something going, but I'm probably not going to have time to go back to my house and come back out with the proper materials. But I guess I can take a look and see what's, like, interesting just so I know what I'm going to get. Um, yeah, I'm going to sell the rubber boots and the forest sword because they're obviously not useful at all. I will mention that the lava katana is here, which is technically the best thing that you can just straight out buy compared to the steel falchion right now that we have. It's about eh, 1.5 times as effective. Not as much speed. It's a lot slower of a weapon, as you can see with the weight. So, yeah. But more defense, more crit power. It's a very good weapon, but I just... I find it difficult to recommend. There's also a bunch of rings down here if you want uh, any specific uh, thing. Any specific stat increase. And then of course we still got all this. Uh, not nearly completed at all. Cave insects was obviously the first thing done. Slime still has a while. Duggies are almost done. But yeah, I've been fighting almost everything. We only have one thing we haven't seen. Or beaten at least. Yeah. I go out of my way to make sure that I'm actively fighting all of the enemies that I see. So that I can turn up all of those little numbers except for bugs because bugs are unfortunately completely useless to us because they're way t so common and they don't really uh, do much outside of that anyway oh she's already done well never mind guess i'll die well next time i will come in uh probably end up getting the guess who doesn't oh i do have a hoe that's right i've turned in my axe not my hoe guess i could take a look see poo for any, you probably really like hazelnuts. Yeah, gold hazelnut will do it. Get your friendship a little bit higher. I guess I should look around for some worms, huh? You know what? I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm just gonna, like, forage around. Get some items. You never know what you'll find, you know? Can I even dig all this? I don't even know. One thing that you can do is just, like, charge up your stuff and use it. We hardly ever use the double use of any of these items. 
Yeah, if you're looking for clay, you get one out of every swing there. You know what I could do? Uh, didn't Emily... Uh, I, I don't remember if this was on a specific day that she wanted to come as, come by or at a specific time. But she wanted us to go to Mayor Lewis's house. And I don't... I think that was like she said come at night. Or like after 6 p.m. or something. But I'll go check it real quick just to see. Also, hello. Didn't even check Pierre's house. I need coconut if it's not too inconvenient. I... Uh, maybe? It costs 500 gold just to go to the desert, so that's not even going to outweigh the cost. And I think I've sold all my coconuts that I got. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, here we go. This is our eight star, eight, eight heart uh, cutscene, by the way. Welcome to clothing therapy. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone is free, has a free and happy life. So I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options for, to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. Okay. There I am. Ah, Rob, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> cool. Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. That's great. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. Sure. <laughs> I love it. Okay, everyone gets a turn. Oh no. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Beautiful. Let's see what Demetrius thinks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Y'all know what's happening. Why not? Not bad. Oh, looking sharp. Why is he leaving his own house? Me next. I, okay, I truly, truly believe that everyone should have these alternate uh, costumes on a switch every day. It's sweaty in here. Like, you can just choose if you want everyone to have their alternate costumes or not. There's definitely a mod for that, right? Clint, you're up. Me? Uh, okay, Emily. I'll do it. Ooh. Aw, cute. Aw, cute. And me, with my trash can hat. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shelves a bit. Rob, um... I couldn't do it. I don't want to break from my shell. Oh, I... I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Rob. Oof. And she still has no idea. 
Nothing. Good evening. Good evening. What's up? Oh, I already talked to you. That's right. Um, by the way, if you do leave any of your stuff in the Grange display, it'll show up in the Lost and Found box. Just thought I'd mention that. That potted plant looks almost exactly like our little pan. Anyway, glad I got that out of the way, so that's not going to... Hey, look at that. That's not going to bother me for the rest of my life. Just click on it. And you get four iron ore for free. Just walking around. I mean, not too worth it, but sometimes you can get some really cool stuff. No worms on the beach on a rainy day? You're kidding me, man. Okay, well, I guess while I'm here, I'm going to go do a little bit of fishing. Also grab all the coral, baby. Just for some extra money. Since I'm here already, I don't do a lot of fishing anymore. And I would like to hit that level 10, which is what we're at, right? Yeah. I think it's somewhat close. It's hard to really say, but eh. We'll go for it anyway. All right, that's enough. Just some light fishing. I got four gold star albacore. I also almost ran out of room there. I've gotten a little bit of use out of the copper trash can, surprisingly, so that's been fun to have around. I've probably gotten a total of like 15 gold from throwing like 20 things away, but hey, it's still there. And obviously, like, as you saw, there were other upgrades for the trash can as well, so it'll change from like, what is it, 10% now to like, I think it goes up to 50% reclaim, which is not terrible. And I could see it actually having applications if you're like really deep in something and you have to actually throw something somewhat valuable away. I don't know, but just my thoughts. 1050, I have plenty of time here. Inventory full, okay. I'm going to organize stuff out. I can also make two more wild seeds for actually getting our money's worth out of those now that we're finding all of these mushrooms. Not really too much of a reason for me to go out of the way for the cheese right now, but I'll get it anyway. Just for, mon for more money for tomorrow. Well, I guess the plan for tomorrow will be to... Oh gosh, we have so much money, we gotta use it. We'll upgrade another tool. Probably the axe. We have to get something else started. Probably the deluxe barn, or the deluxe coop, to be honest, because it does need to get done this year. If we want that year one completion. It might be worth going to the skull mine again sometime soon. I don't know. We do have a lot of uh, copper ore for bombs and stuff, so who's to say? Who's to say? Good night. I almost forgot to say that. <laughs>